In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gunta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Uh, um... Oh, it seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and that NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin, then. Virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Never did that to Miu. Was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer. Or going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is. I agree. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right, and the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. You were strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she's suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. The Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. This is it! 
During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gota, no can ignore that! What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off! Not gentlemanly at all! No time for nonsense! No can use toilet paper! In place of rope! What tear too easy! I'll cut through your words! The toilet paper wouldn't tear. Because in the virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Unbreakable? <laughs> You're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Gonta, not really understand, but... Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was... A fitting end for her. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Don't to know! Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. <laughs> and tried to kill them with it! You idiot! She was the victim! Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Gonta, no! Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone. I agree! was going to meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, 
Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. That's it! She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep, she plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Kokichi was killed in the real world. 